Hi, I'm Frank Washcook, news editor at PR Week, and I'm here with Gil Schwartz. He's the CCO at uh, CBS Corporate. Thanks for uh, joining us at the next conference. Very this week. nice, thanks. Uh, so, one big theme of this conference so far this week is how much media is changing, but it's not the gatekeeper role that it used to be. So, in your role as CCO, how has that affected your job? How have you seen a change? Well, I think there are fewer rules. Uh, you used to be able to kind of count on a certain standard by which a story was a story, uh, and another story would not be a story, and that no longer exists. A, a story for a lot of the media is something you hear, uh, and the way to report it is to report what you heard and then put the bottom of that. By the way, everybody involved in this says it's not true. Mm -hmm. And that's a story. But that sounds like it makes your job a lot more difficult. It is, but at the same time, what people read is devalued. Mm -hmm. So just because somebody reads something, they may believe it a little bit for a few minutes, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the weight that it did uh, previously. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, you know, places that still have that weight, but I think everything is, every, there's just too much to read and too much to, to, uh, to see. I think everything kind of gets kind of washed out in a way. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think, I think the power of positive communications remains great. If you have a great story and you talk to people about it and you responsibly help them report it, mm -hmm. uh, then that still has a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. I think that the game of gotcha and the game of, you know, kind of tag that gets played every day, if you don't allow yourself to, to get too emotionally involved in the game, uh, I think a lot of it comes and goes. No, this this more irresponsible journalism that you're mentioning, has that been exacerbated by social media and Twitter sure. and the emphasis of getting things out really quickly? Yeah, I, I think that Twitter is, um, in many ways, it's a humor vehicle. Uh, it's a terrific way to get nuggets of things, but it's also a, a peerless way to uh, spread misinformation, viciousness, stupidity. I mean, it's it's not a uh, it's not a reliable source for anything, uh, and and most reporters uh, uh, are uh, addicted to it. Mm -hmm. And they read they read each other's tweets all the time. That's, that's correct. They, we do they, do that. They play <laughs> uh, they play with uh, with each other uh, in that way. So one other thing, it's been a tumultuous couple of years for a lot of media outlets, a lot of media companies, and a lot are reinventing themselves as they come out of this um, recovery, if it can be called that. Sure, um, it's a recovery. How do you see CBS moving forward in a different way than before, or has it changed? Has it embraced anything new? You know, the new marketplace is uh, is it's really awesome. I mean, the thirst and the hunger for content is, uh, it's massive. The ways that you can take in television programming, or radio programming for that matter, or uh, sports, uh, or news, these are the, uh, new ways of, of, of consumption are being invented all the time. And for those who can figure out how to monetize that, it's a fantastic new business. And uh, I think it's a great time to be in the media. I mean, uh, there will be, as always, there's going to be winners and losers. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't think all of the news blogs that exist now will be around in five years. Because I think people are going to be getting their news via Twitter and other ways like that. And um, unfortunately, the blog as a uh, as a, an art form uh, will have to fight to keep itself current, keep keep uh, keep itself uh, vital because. Uh, you know, um, one day Twitter will be too long, 140 characters will be too long, and then people will be doing like 40 characters, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll be too long. So the idea that a blog of 400 words, you, know, you have to concentrate on that for more than three minutes, so <laughs> that's tough. Right. Uh, that's tough. I'm not sure that people will be able to do that in 10 years. Again, this is Gil Schwartz from uh, CBS. I'm Frank Washcook, news editor at PR Week. Thanks again.